Good morning again, brothers. If you watched my last video, this is my second video for the day here. And this one, of course, we're going to use a new razor today. Well, a new vintage razor to me. I actually got it for my wife here. Let me just pivot that. There we go. We have a Gillette Tech. 61 Gillette Tech. So yeah, it's not perfect. It's not by, by any means. It hasn't been redone by anybody. Oh, hell, sorry. Held it upside down too. That might help away. Can you see that? Ah, uh, come on. It's not focusing well. So you can see it. Oh, there it goes. Gillette. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, not really the shiniest thing, but that ball handle is cool. And of course, when you're buying the ball handles off eBay, you got to make sure that it, there's not a split the handle. So make sure you check those pictures out well. So I already purchased this for Linda last month. And, um... Put it in through a sonic cleaner and of course soap and water and all that. Especially, I always like, especially when I'm buying something off eBay used and it's, you know, and it's, they usually have caked on, you know, soap scum, what have you too. So I, I run them through a sonic cleaner too. 30 bucks off of Amazon. And it's a wonderful jewelry cleaner. So my wife loves that thing for that thing, for that feature. So yeah, it's, it was a good purchase. Uh, but we're going to use this. Now, comparison wise, one of my favorite handles is the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Um, what they call it, the bomber handle, which is kind of the same ball, it's, it's their homage to the ball end. And it's, of course, let's see here, well, the heads obviously are the same width because it takes a standard DE blade. So, but the handle, I'm sure if you can see, let me back it off a little bit, you can see that the handle, well, besides being like a half an inch um, longer, it is also wider, a little beefier, of course, way better narrowing to grab onto, but then again, this thing is 50 plus years old, so. Well, yeah, actually, I think it's a flimmer. How old is this razor? Yeah, this razor isn't, it's, it's 55 years old. Okay. All right, so that's what we're gonna use today. So hold on, I'm gonna go wash my face. With the Phoenix Argument Accoutrements Puck. That's gonna wash my face. As, as usual, because you wash your face first. So I'm gonna, let me go do that and I'll whip up some lather, lather and I will be back. Okay, and I'm back. And today, oh, I didn't tell you what we're putting in this razor. Because you've heard me discuss before, tech razors just really, really aren't my jam because they're a bit mild for me. So we're gonna step it up today with our fresh pack of feather blades. I just removed the plastic from this. Of course, take out that little cardboard thing. Oops, and then follow, blade followed it. So we'll get that in there. I'll just put the little feather thing in the trash. And look at that, this feather. Go oh, there, you can see it says feather all over it. So yeah, you haven't seen me shave with a feather blade before. Really only have the one plate. I only had a couple packs and I said it's few and far between for me with feather. But this razor, they're known to be so mild that yeah, we're gonna do a feather today. We're gonna see how that goes. First shave with a feather, um, not my favorite. Um, this calms down after the first shave. Um, little, little, a little bit twitchy to me on the first shave. And see on this tech razor, see how it holds in the four corners instead? There's no pins in the middle on the two sides. There's been a post in the middle, of course. But then it has the four little like holders there, I guess. I don't know what you call that, but on the side. So not posts in the middle. So this is the style of this tech. Oops, hope we can see it, sorry. And that blade does overhang on the sides. And t typically, I'll like catch the edge of my nose with 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 that, and sometimes I'll cut my nose. Um, so yeah, I'm I am a fan of razors that barely stick out at all or don't stick out whatsoever. Um, I kind of like those just for that reason because I do catch this big old honking snows from time to time. <laughs> so let me just put a little water on the face because of course I just washed it. Oh, soap of the day. Oops, can't tell why that. Here we go. Let me put, hold it up where you can see it. Ugh. Tobacco. Like it or hate it? I happen to like it. It's polarizing soap. Yeah, a lot of people don't like it. But a lot of people do like it. I'm one of them. I like it. I think it's a very classic scent. And I, I enjoy it. I like smelling like tobacco. The 
of the brush of the day. I haven't been talking about my brushes in my posts, have I, as of late. But this is a Plasoft original one from France. I ordered it from France many years ago. Back when IMCDB was taught me, well, actually, he wasn't IMCDB, was he? Was that even before I lather? His first channel. Basically, back when Chris Baker was talking about this. That's when I got it. Yeah, and I do enjoy that. That was, to me, that's a nice, soft. If you like back one, you won't like that at all. But if you, if you like a soft brush, that's very nice. Are there softers now? Yes, there are. But that's the one that started everything. All right, first pass, Gillette Tech. Feather blade. No, nope, don't feel like it's going to reach out and bite me at all yet. Now that I've said that, you know I'm going to bleed. Pretty much a guarantee now. Alrighty, look around. This is so mild too, you know, it's going to be a three pass shave. It has to be just because it's so mild. It's just not taking up a whole lot. It's not real aggressive. You know, the aggressive, some of the aggressive ones, you see some of the guys like Ken Surfs, well, he'll only do two passes because um, that's all he needs, especially on the more aggressive razors. So, um, but this is definitely a, a, it's a three pass razor. And I think he really enjoys these. It's a small head, so. Should get in there, it's pretty good. Okay. I'm purposely not using the twig today on the nose because I wanted to give this because I knew it was a small head. I wanted to try it out. I may have just got myself on the edge of the nose there a little bit. Oh, yeah. All right, this is not getting a good shave like the twig on the nose. Is marginal that's what i have to do because after after i get off camera for this i'm going to clean that twig and offer it out to father craig to try tomorrow because he also shaves a little bit under his nose he um he tells me he does that so we're gonna we're gonna lend that to him because i think he's gonna appreciate that he's also looking at that henson razor he's looking at both apparently versions the the mild and the more aggressive and he said he let me try him too so i'm kind of looking forward to trying that and showing you guys. I think that'll be my first loan of, of, of razor equipment. Nobody's loaned me anything to try yet, so. Small channel, you know, it's like, yeah. That's that's, that's big channel stuff when they start loaning you stuff. <laughs> but boy, I tell you, if I, if I had my wishes, I would like to have that new um, leaf thorn you know, the more aggressive version of the twig, I would like to try that. They didn't change the handle, which I harp about. That's my, to me, that's the only weakness of that razor is the handle, is the grip on the handle, be specific. Is the grip, the handle itself is actually nicely weighted, good size, I like it. I like all that, I just don't like the grip points because it's not right where I hold the razor. It's not at the balance point, so. That's my only complaint. That's the only thing. Can't go wrong with that, because I think it's a wonderful shaver. So I'm so intrigued by that. I want to try the thorn. Okay, is this going to... Oh, and I do have two days growth. Disclosure there, so it's not just a one day. Okay, so yeah, it's feeling like I definitely need the third pass. But this is just a classic three-pass razor. It just is. Go on knowing that, you're not going to skip a pass, even with a feather blade. I was just trying to see if I could even cut myself right there, because a feather, if I'm going to cut myself, this is the spot. I just seem to catch myself just wrong, right at the edge of the whiskers. But no, didn't catch me. Pass three. Yeah, 
need some more water. Dipping the tips. Okay, because I didn't bowl lather this, I face lathered, so. Yeah. Need a little more water. If you bowl lather, you, you kind of get that all set. You kind of get your moisture content just right in a bowl and you take, take a minute of it. But I like to change it up in face lather just to show that I can. <laughs> Goes on nice. <sighs> the accent. I enjoy that. I do enjoy that. Hold on a minute. Yeah, okay. I just realized I, when I ordered some stuff that, what is it, a month ago? From Phoenix, I didn't try the free sample that came in it for the aftershave. So I think we're gonna try that today. So we're not gonna use the back aftershave. We're gonna try this new thing called Fresco. So yeah, let's try that. Don't know anything about it, haven't read about it. Don't know if it's on the website yet. I'm, I think it was not several weeks ago when I got my order in. I don't know if it is now, but we're gonna try that. Fresco, huh? I will give credit where credit is due because Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, Brandon Douglas, really know how to put some sense out. I don't agree with all of them, but for those, you know, for the ones that you like that are in your range of what you, what you enjoy, they just do it right. They, it's strong enough. It lasts a good long while. It's a good six hours strong anyway. For an aftershave, that's phenomenal. So, yeah, hats off to Phoenix Artisan Encroachment because you guys really do do great sense. You really do. Let's see. And they say, for my money, they're the best in the business so far. Of course, there's other manufacturers that I have not tried, and I've heard there's some humbling, there's some really good ones out there. In fact, I'd like to hear what you think. What's, what's, what, what, what is your, what's your top three cents? What are your absolute top three cents? Just scent alone. Don't care about quality of soap or anything. Just scent of the soap or the aftershave. I don't care which. Which You tell me what you like. I'm going to hear from you. You tell me. So we did three... Three passes. All good to go there. Yep, feels good. And there's something we said where, you know, for the Gillette Tex and other mild razors, because it's just a, you know, autopilot. Bet if you're shaving early in the morning, haven't had your coffee. It's just, you know, it's autopilot. You just go, you don't cut yourself, you just go. All right, I'm gonna go down to the sink and put a splash on some, whoops, no, I'm not, I didn't turn on the cold yet, so apparently I'll have to wait a second here. <laughs> Let's wait on, okay, yeah, it's running cold. So, okay, so let me splash on some cold water. I'll be right back. All right, I need a towel. All righty. Now, something you haven't seen in a while, you keep seeing me pulling out the Thayer's cucumber. We're using Sterling's Ben Franklin today. So it's scented witch hazel. So if you're not a big aftershave fan, highly recommend this. Of course, I'm an aftershave fan. Oops, that's so I'm not using the Fresco. Sorry, I just put this on. I went into auto mode because I already had it planned out. <laughs> Fresco was a everything. So maybe I'll do a shave tomorrow. I mean, I'm going to shave tomorrow. It's Sunday for church. And I'm presenting, so yes. Ben Franklin, you wondering what it smells like? Well, I'll tell you what it, 
what it um, accentuates is Old Spice. It's a spicy, Ben Franklin is a spicy, I think probably spicier in slightly different range than the Old Spice is, but it complements well. So, haven't had this Old Spice out in a while. Just haven't, so. Because I'm not in the office, I don't I do not do um, Far Back Fridays anymore, you know. See, the Ben Franklin is, I think, less sweet than the Old Spice. Oh yeah, I'm feeling some burn there. Yeah, I got a little, a little nick in the nose. I can feel it. Okay. Old Spice. Everybody likes Old Spice. Classic. Just Old Spice. Yeah. So we will save the Fresco for another day. So let me put that back on the shelf. Okay, back there. Okay, that's back on the shelf. And I'll clean my equipment out off camera. But yeah, nice little... Classic, Gillette Tech, decent shave. Yep, feeling good, smelling good. Y'all enjoy your day and go with God.